is for everyone and math is fun we are here to make math fun and also eradicate uh, math phobia uh, let me quickly uh, run a poll which i have oh it looks like i don't have the poll so um i'm going to ask you a question and i want all of you to answer me all right uh, so tell me guys and be honest while you're answering this are you scared of math I know that a lot of people are, but I'm still asking: Are you scared of math? And guys, uh, for those who have not, please switch on your videos. I'd like to see your faces while uh, I'm here in the session. Please switch on your videos, guys. It's amazing to see your wonderful faces. Please switch on your videos for those who have not. Um, so do this if you are not scared of math, and do this if you are scared of math. Huh? I see a lot of hands going up and down. That is wonderful. Oh, here we go. This is the. This was a very um, proud moment for every one of us at Exploring Infinities when Bhanu Prakash received the letter from President of India. You can read it here on the screen. Yes. So coming back. Um, How many people are scared of math? Just let me know in the chat box. Also, and please, guys, please, please, please. Um, could you I want you all to switch on your videos. Please, uh, Aditi, Ashmita, Sahasra, please switch on your videos. Krishna, could you shift the host once before we start off? Oh, there we have. That's gone. Yes, I am doing that. All right. There you go. So, guys, uh, we have the fastest human calculator here with us. So, give it up for the fastest human calculator in the world, Bharu Prakash. Yeah. Uh, hello, guys. Hope you're all doing fine. Let me pin my video, and we will be starting off in two minutes. Only two min two more minutes because. Um, I'm setting up the polls which I've promised you and a few more things. So just give me a couple of more minutes and Krishna will run you through what exploring infinities does meanwhile and we will be starting in just two minutes. Krishna. All right. Thank you so much, Bhani. Uh, so you heard it from the man. He will be starting in two minutes. And in the meanwhile, I'd like to uh, tell you one more time that a lot of people have your video switched off for some reason. Come on! How many times you have to say this? Uh, please switch on your videos, guys. It's wonderful to. Uh, it doesn't matter if you are lying on the bed or if you are on a chair. Um, I mean, everyone's home. Who is and it's a Sunday, so no one's gonna judge anyone. So please switch on your videos. Um. All right. I did not get a lot of replies, guys, for the question I just asked. How many of you are scared of math? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like some people are scared of math, um, and it looks like some people, very few people, are not scared of math. Interesting. Uh, and also, a lot of people are not replying, and <clears throat> uh, so I view that you guys are have a neutral feeling about math, which is also good. All right. So here at Exploring Infinities, we keep conducting these live sessions, um, mostly in, at uh, mostly in India, um, and we also have uh, we also run classes, which train kids like you uh, in speed calculations. Uh, also, um, Mr. Banu, as you know, takes himself takes all the sessions. He trains kids on how to become Speed thinkers and speed um, speed thinkers, speed thinking, and multiple cognitive ability like memory, iterative thinking, etc. We will be talking about that. Uh, actually, Mr. Banu himself will be talking a lot about cognitive ability, and you will be surprised to know that speed calculation and math has a lot to do with um, or in general mental calculation in general has a lot to do with our brain and cognitive abilities 
So, um, yes. And I think we are set. Let me hand over the stage to Manupika. Hello, guys. Hope I'm audible. Just click a yes in the comment section so that I know that you can hear me very well. Guys, hello. Good morning. Hope you're all doing fine. And uh, hello from India. Um, Krishna, thanks a lot for the introduction. And I'll quickly share my screen to run you through what we do. And uh, as you see, I have recently won the Olympic gold medal for India to become the fastest human calculator in the world. And if you've heard of people like Shakuntala Devi or Scott Flansburg, I'm going to show you how I have broken these people's records. At the same time here, I would probably want to ask you guys a question. How many of you want to do calculations very, very quickly? And in, in a way that people think, wow, how is this possible? So with, with my work in becoming the world's fastest human calculator, I've been working on teaching kids like you how to start loving mathematics. And in fact, here, if you know what BBC is, the British Broadcasting Channel has called me the Usain Bolt of mathematics about how quickly I do it. So let's start off uh, quickly, but I'll tell you what we will be doing today. The orientation to speed math, where we will be talking about cognitive ability development, math learning, games, and I will show you a lot of different um, things, which we will, we will be seeing today. As you see, we have the small video, which I'm playing out for you to understand what to expect in the session. And for the parents out there, can I see the parents here who are around their kids? Do we have them? Do we have a lot of parents? Yeah, hello guys, hello parents, hello to them. And uh, because I thought that even you should see what we are talking about today. So here it goes. I am Neelikanda Banabrakash, also known as the fastest human calculator in the world. Are you scared of mathematics? Do numbers frighten you? Do you want to become three times quicker at calculations? Then join me on the speed math orientation session on the 22nd of November at 12.30 p.m. EST. Let's start learning maths the right way. How do you... Yes. So there it goes, guys. As you see, this is what we were already doing. This is something which you've probably seen over the internet. This is uh, one of my first sessions based out of the US, which are not kids because we have more than 150 kids across the globe who are learning math the right way. But do you want to become two times quicker at calculations? I'll tell you how today. I'll tell you how to do that. How do you begin your journey? And for the parents out there, do you want your child to love math? Because a lot of us do not really like it, right? I mean, it's easy, sure, but it's not like a sport. Everyone likes soccer. Everyone likes football. Everyone likes baseball. Everyone likes watching TV or probably even writing poems or reading stories. But math, eh, not very much. But I'm going to change that for you today. So here we are. Let's start off by quickly having a quick round of introduction of what I do with all of you guys. So let's do one thing. What I will do guys is pick one of you guys here or, or for that matter, let's actually pick up um, one person and ask you to give me a question. All right. Who wants to volunteer here for me? Anyone? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. I see um, Ashok. Ashok, go ahead. I've unmuted you. Ashok, what I want you to do um, is... Oh, I see a lot of disturbance there. So um, anyone else who would want to do this? Okay, Hari, Hari's side, I'm unmuting you. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Fine. Fine. So what I want you to do is give me any two-digit number, right? Give me any two-digit number, anything between 11 and 99. No, anything between 11 and 99? Yeah. Okay, um, 35? Uh, something which does not end with a 5 because 5s usually are easy. Fine then. Um, 23? 23. 23, right? What I want all of you guys to do, including you, is open your phone, click 23, and click plus 23, plus 23, plus 23. Would you do that for me? And what I want you to do is just open your phone and click 23 plus 23 plus 23 and you keep doing that what would you get the table of 23 right 23 46 69 92 you'll keep getting that 
everyone do who who which one of you has the calculator in front of you or a, or a phone with the calculator all right let me unmute venkat n venkat can you unmute yourself yeah venkat what i want you to do is just click 23 plus 23 plus 23 and go on all right yeah. so let's start yeah. 23 when you add it you get 46 69 92 115 115 anyone who thought ah that is in literally quicker than the speed of a calculator how many of you think now that a human brain can do calculations quicker than what you think you can i'm going to show you two more calculation demonstrations so that you understand what speed calculation is all about all the parents sure all the students sure let's do a couple of things which i thought i'll show each and every single one of you guys including say a huge question which someone has right now just sent into the comment section i just got a question in my comment section and i am just writing it down so that you understand what it is the question i have gotten here is 758327 758327 multiplied by 27 can all of you do that on your calculators can all of you try doing that in front of you yeah the answer would be 20 million 474829 that's some question which i just got in in my private section but that is how quickly you can do your calculations because your brain is beyond what you can think now let's see i have one question which nischal ande nishnu has given me um actually let me pick a couple of other uh questions in fact what i'll do guys is i'll give it to you write and type the longest number which you can think of just put in the longest number which you can think of in the comment section any question guys i'm going to take the longest number which you can think of all right i see a lot of long numbers coming in so let me take this number which someone has given me 7432872189 all right that is a fantastic number that is 7 trillion 407 billion 432 million 872189 what i'm going to do is i'm going to multiply this by one number can you give me a single digit number guys 2 to 9 any number between them comment comment below just see oh i got a lot of sevens somehow and i'm going to take 7 to be the number try multiplying this in your calculator the answer would be 51 52 billion 29 30 million so the answer is going to be 520303105628 right the answer would be 520 2301054523 if you do it or what we could also do is make this a little tougher than this i got another question which said 8743275 multiplied by 25 can all of you try doing this on your calculators can all of you try doing this as quickly as you can because the answer would be 20 I mean, I think it would be twenty-one crore. If I have to put it in the um, American perspective, it would be two one eight five eight one eight seven five, right? How did I do that? I did an eight seventy. This multiplied by five, which would be four three seven one six three seven five, and then multiplied this by two, which would be one seven four eight six eight six five five zero, and I added them together. But I've done this so quickly that it looks like magic to you guys. Now, who wants to develop? a skill like this because it's something which imagine just having this in school right just 
fantastic we can ace everything there is now today i'm going to tell you how and i'm going to tell you how this would change the way you look at the world around you for which let me share the screen and quickly run you through a couple of things which i think are important for you to know to see and onset your journey in this walk let me share my screen and there it goes sure why do children hate math and this is for all the parents three out of every four students across the globe have a trouble understanding basic math math is boring and eh, we don't really know math is not relatable why is math having such questions which i would not really think of these are questions which i have had when i started off as an educator today i address how many of you here know of the un the united nations we do yeah united nations unesco and stuff commonwealth in nations and stuff i address um, these places talking about how math can change the way you look at the world in fact if i have to look at this way i'm going to give you a quick example all right here's a man all right this is a guy he has to run a 100 meter race right he has to run a 100 meter race he runs it in 9.4 seconds to get a world record who is this person can you tell me who is this person who holds the record for running for a 100 meter race in under 10 seconds who is this man aha uh -huh. i see a lot of people saying usain bolt absolutely this is my man usain bolt who runs quicker than anyone else in the world all right now let's talk about the story of another guy called ryan okay so this is mr bolt bolt is the world record holder for running now let's talk about this other guy ryan all right and this is a question which i wanted to ask you is what if ryan took a car okay ryan is in a car and ryan goes for the 100 meters ryan goes for the 100 meters in the car in 2 seconds just two seconds who is better here is it ryan or is it mr bolt mr usain bolt or ryan who is quicker ryan's going in a car right ryan's going in a car but usain bolt runs who is more talented let's not say who's quicker but i'm going to ask you who is more talented can you annotate on the screen if you know how to annotate you can put that you can even let's say um message me personally but we see that the more talented person definitely is bolt as you see the reason can anyone of you tell me the reason does, does anyone want to tell me why we respect bolt more than we would respect someone like uh, the other person yatin on to you i'm going to give it to you and akshita i'll come to you next all right yatin go ahead um i think we have to respect bolt because 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 ryan is in a car and cars and cars go faster than a person that's running and going in a car is is pretty easy to go for 100 meters but running 100 meters is really hard running under 10 seconds absolutely yatin has given us the right answer in fact let's try hearing it from someone else akshita let's see what do you think um because um running we really um harder than um being in a car because if you driving a car all you're doing is just sitting down and when you're running you're actually using your energy absolutely so um thanks and i think good good valid points what i would say here is sure mr bolt can use his skill elsewhere right can use his skill elsewhere because of the fact that the reason why he can run the 100 meters is because of his speed it is because of his practice and it is because of his fitness what else is it because is it because it's because he's fit it's because of his practice it's because of his speed what else it's because of his dedication and it's because of his body structure and how he has trained himself right he is the king of having a fit physical body do you agree yeah yes or no right the other person and uh, I mean, he's great, Char. I mean, obviously, right? Even Mr. Bolt would use a car to go for fifty kilometers. But 
that is a shortcut this is a shortcut right this is a shortcut this is like going in a shortcut this does not mean that you are skilled because tomorrow if i put a competition of let's say going up a hill if 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 let's say usain bolt and ryan both of them were asked to climb up a hill who do you think will do better is it ryan or is it mr usain bolt who is it okay let's see rupesh what do you think um i think bolt yeah absolutely why because he is fitter than the other person you might be thinking what is the world's fastest human calculator who has to do math why is he talking about running i mean how many do you think that i mean uh, uh, why why is he talking about running right now i'm going to tell you what is the similarity between both of these and this is something which you guys need to understand when someone gives you a question and i want all of you to think of it out loud right this is you okay you whoever you are right now watching this from the united states of america you are here you are given a maths question to do 76 multiplied by 100 what would the answer be what would the answer be guys can every one of you comment below let us see what you think of and for the kids who do not know what multiplication is do not really mind it's okay if you do not know what it is but a lot of people are messaging me 7600 right 7600 Zero zero. Did you actually do the multiplication? Did we really do the multiplication? No. We just put the two zeros next to it, right? We just put the two zeros next to it, which means that this, my friends, is a trick. Yeah. When you multiply it with a hundred, you put two zeros next to it. This is a trick. can you tell me what else is a trick what else is a a vehicle which we use to do this calculation am i really running no i'm using a car this car can be a shortcut this car can be vedic mathematics and i'm going to come to you here or this also can be a backus if you've heard of a backus right a backus is using a tool to get to the answer are we really using our mind not really we are using a tool right we are using a tool to calculate now a lot of people outside tell saying that i'm going to tell you a trick today yeah i'm going to tell you a trick today how i'm going to tell you i'm people say okay i'm going to change the way you look at math look at this if you have to multiply 25 with 25 all you have to do is just multiply 2 with the next number which is 6 and put the 25 here you get the answer 625 that is the answer okay two multiplied by the next number 6 and put the 25 next to it does knowing this make you better if you know this does that make you skilled does that make you skilled no right i mean it's a trick it's okay right it's like okay i had to run but i took a car sure i mean okay this will not help you to do all kinds of calculations in the world and in the right way to do this we need to develop the brain capacities do you understand like how, when i say that do you want to become quicker at calculations it's about thinking quickly when you think quickly you can use the thinking quickly in any different way you understand any different way like if you think quickly you can use it to solve your science paper you can think quickly and read quickly you can think quickly to come up with a solution to a problem which you've been looking for right so do we want to train ourselves in doing just calculations or do you want to become and think quicker because that's i think the more important part what do you want to do if i give you an option do you want to become a speed thinker or do you just want to become a speed solver because thinking quickly is like being sherlock right it's about it's about being this dc comic hero flash but inside your mind right you're just running so quickly in your mind so that you can do very well now let's start off by telling how do you get to do calculations quickly and what does it mean to do it now let's let's go ahead and the breaking myths for the parents out here breaking myths is 
being able to do calculations better is different from being able to do them quicker because a lot of methods out there just focus on giving you a quick solution but does not make you a better thinker now how to make you guys start loving mathematics now this is a question before i come to this i will show you a good way in which i personally teach the kids around the world of why calculations are interesting let's play a small game right is everyone up for playing a small calculation game not very really hard you can have fun with it and this is going to change the way you look at the numbers around you the first game this is not the game i'm going to start with a basic question which is i want all of you to just look at the screen all right just look at the screen okay all of you look at the screen for the next 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 go does anyone remember what i wrote no right is it easy to remember such things not really not too much but if i just told you that hey guys listen what i'm going to do is try remembering this quickly and if i just share stop share what was it that i typed aha uh -huh. everyone remembers it now right why because i told you that you had to remember before itself your brain has to be given the instruction to remember it do you understand it's very simple when i did not tell you anything you did not remember it when i told you something you remembered it but if i'm going to just randomly write down these many numbers uh can you remember this now no so the reason why i asked you this question is because you have to know that your brain is also like a computer right it's also like a computer your brain has a ram it has a hard disk it has a central processing unit now how many of you here can tell me the difference between ram and a hard disk anyone anyone here who can tell me i mean it's okay if you can't also but um, let's see is there any geek student here who is a tech techy who likes to tell or anyone or for that matter ashok go ahead i'll say ram would be space in your computer uh -huh. so good that that's great that's a good good uh, thought now let me tell you what okay the activity let's continue i want all of you to remember this number on the screen will all of you remember it can you remember it in one minute yeah 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 go what was the number guys um i'm going to ask you to remember this number also okay can you remember this number yeah what was this number can you tell me what was this number okay now i want you to think about uh your favorite hotel your favorite food place whatever you like can you all think of the favorite food place you had do you have an image yeah can you think of your school for me once yeah you can now can anyone any one of you tell me what was the number which i asked you to not write down i asked you to not write down the number can you remember what that number was yeah is it as easy it is not because you forget your mind if i ask you what did you have for your lunch what did you have for your breakfast today you can remember it but what did you have for your breakfast one week ago can you tell me what did you have for breakfast one week ago on the same day no because your brain has two memories short term and long term yeah just like how ram and hard disk are for a computer short term long term when you switch it off it goes so i'm going to give you a game right now this is not the game the game is something which we will i will switch on all you guys have to do is just remember the numbers 
which are coming on the screen. Will all of you do that for me? Yeah, yeah. It's 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 a fun it's a fun thing. So let me just get you to this. Okay, in three, two, one, go. I'm going to share my screen, and you will be all up and kicking to tell me what you know of this. Let's see if you know. Mm -hmm. There it goes. Can all of you see a small screen in front of you? Yeah. What I want you to do is just remember these numbers which are going to be coming on the screen in the right order. Will you do that? Three, two, one, go. Five, nine, four, seven. Right. Can all of you type it down? What was the order in which the numbers came? Can all of you type it down below? Yeah, can you do that? Uh huh. All of you did it. Now I'm gonna just make this a little harder for you. The, now everyone understand what the game is, right? It's pretty simple. Three, two, one, go. Can you do this now for me? Seven, nine, one, six, seven, four, seven, eight, seven, seven. Is this easy? No, right? It's not. It's not easy unless you've typed it. Some people have done it. Great. But it's not very easy or intuitional for kids to do. Right? Now I'm going to slightly change the question here for you. What I want you to do is add the numbers which are coming on the screen. Do not remember them, but I want you to add them. Do you understand what addition is? You just add them, right? Addition, if you know what addition is. You just have to add them. Three, two, one, and go. All I want you guys to do is do nine plus one plus five plus six plus three. What is this? What is this? Yeah. I'm going to repeat it again. Okay. For the people who did not get it. Nine plus one plus five, plus six, plus three. Yeah, every one of you got it, right? I mean, you got it to some extent or the other. Did everyone understand what we were doing here? Now, um, okay, for the people who did not, you can actually try doing it at a relatively slower speed. Let's try doing this, okay? Can every one of you try doing this? It's very easy. One, Plus one, plus five. What is that? One plus one plus five. Pretty simple. Every one of you would probably understand this. But I'm going to prove you a point in a moment. In a moment, right? Seven. Every one of you told me seven. Now I'm going to put up a question in front of you, which I want every one of you to answer, right? What is twenty-three plus thirty-one plus twelve plus twelve plus thirty-one? Can all of you try doing this for me? It's a little tricky. If there are kids here who are under uh, eight years of age, then don't mind. It's okay if you do not know how to do this also. But I just want the people who are here who know how to do this question, try. Right? It's 109. Exactly. How are we doing this? Can anyone of you tell me how to do this question? Anyone? Um, let's give, a, what do we say here? Agastya a chance. Agastya and someone else were there. Honestly. Um, um, you just have to add them in a row, like three plus one is four plus. Can you tell me how to do this exact question, though, Agastya? Um, three plus one. <laughs> three plus one is four. Four plus, four plus two is six. Six plus two is eight. Eight plus one is nine. Okay, and then, then what do I do two, here? Two plus three is five. Five plus two plus five plus two is um seven. Seven, seven plus three is and, ten. Right? Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Augustia. Now, uh, what, what I want every one of you to do is I want you to read this out for me. Can you read um, 
this out for me uh, let's say this right can can you read this sentence out for me can any one of you do that for me uh, who wants to do that let's see um let me pick someone vidya go ahead vidya start loving math and excel ac academically but okay you get it right so i'm going to ask you a question here vidya vidya the question here is in which direction are we reading from um like the left side to the right side right yeah or more like the beginning to the end yes or no guys the beginning to the end yeah when we were doing our calculation what were we doing instead we were doing the calculation from the end to the beginning yeah we were starting from here and going all the way here now i'm going to show you why this is a problem how many of you here play sports any kind of sport what kind of sport do you play can you comment below what sports do you play uh huh tennis mm -hmm. ba basketball soccer soccer basketball basketball oh you play everything that's great um cricket tennis 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 cool i see a lot of basketballs and tennis here uh, ice hockey great now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to ask you one question let's say this is me okay i'm playing this game of tennis right this is my tennis court i mean here's my tennis court this is the net and i just got the ball uh, to be serving and has come my side right i have a racket but i'm holding the racket like this okay here's my racket i'm just holding my racket in reverse and i'm trying to hit the ball do you think i can be a good tennis player Why not? I'm still holding the racket. Why not, Rishi? Why not? Um, because because you have a smaller part to push it up, and the other side is bigger, so the ball can catch it and bounce off. Absolutely, and I mean we understand it, right? I mean the logical logic sense is we understand, but if you if you have to like broadly look at it, we should not play anything with. let's say a reverse understanding of it right if that that's what i essentially what i would want to say in math we do it right we have been doing the end to beginning business for a long long time since we were kids we started doing it so is there a chance that you can solve this question which is going to be in front of you in like a moment with the left the right to left method and i'm going to show you this okay what i have in front of me is that there will be Two digit numbers which will come on the screen. I want you to add them all. Okay, I want you to add these numbers which are coming on the screen. Three, two, one, go. Just like you did before. Eight plus fifty-eight plus thirteen plus fifty-eight. Do not write it down. Plus forty-seven plus nineteen plus sixty-four plus fifty-one. Do you think we could do this? Is it easy? no right the reason why we cannot do this is the same reason why we cannot hit the bat hit the ball with the reverse racket right it's because we are not looking at it the right way and i'm going to show you something fantastic which is going to blow your mind away right what i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the speed from 2 seconds to 1 second and i'm going to try adding one number every second in front of you let's see 34 plus 94 is 128 202 285 384 403 425 513 that's my answer 513 right how did i do this is because i have trained my mind to look at calculations the right way in fact i'm going to show you something even better i'm going to make this twice as quicker every number which will come here will be coming in 0.5 seconds you can try even noting these numbers down and i'm going to add them entirely in my head right so let's start off in the count of 3 2 1 and go all right 52 118 129 214 307 382 400 490 and there we go in fact let's actually make this extremely 
competitors and i'll show you something which is going to blow your mind away right to just show you that a human brain is capable of doing such stuff and how do i do that that's exactly what i'm going to tell you in this just give me a moment here all right i'm going to share my screen and yeah there it goes um i'm going to try adding all of these uh, numbers i think i think that just got like uh, I, i'm going to replay that okay 3 2 1 go 69848931197021441401 the answer would be 24997 have you ever thought that a human brain can do stuff like this in their head no right but what i'm telling you is that you can do this too in fact i mean do you think it's a good skill to have though like if you do this you can ace your sats if you do this you can be the toppers of your school you can learn things better much better and also it's fun right at the end of the day it's fun it's not like Hey, let's look at this guy who has bought forty watermelon. If he has to split the forty watermelon into five baskets, I will do forty divided by five, which is eight. And uh, boring, not really interested. But I would want to do fun stuff like this, right? It's a sport. How many of you think and would understand if I told that this is a sport? This actually is a sport, right? Do you understand? Because we're trying to run quickly, we're trying to do better, we're stressing and training ourselves and stuff. Yeah, cool. Now I'm going to share my screen again, and let's get back to it. And I think this is for all the parents out there who are watching this. How do you make your students love math? It's by start. How do you make them love math? You make them excel academically, develop cognitive abilities, which I talked to you right now about. Learn math to train brain training games. Do you see a lot of people here lifting weights, running, holding a racket, hitting a ball, throwing a basket at the same way? doing math learn advanced math through interesting modules how many of you here have heard of names like artificial intelligence machine learning coding python you've heard of these stuff right if i have to put it this way do you think if someone has to write a book what do they have to know what all do the the someone need to write a book can anyone give comment below again this is me driving a new point to you guys and all the parents who are watching this because i see i see a lot of parents also here if you want to write a book okay my here's my question what do we need to write a book write a story book or whatever right can everyone of you comment below yeah i see um okay uh huh i see someone says no language okay language is required writing skill is required sure writing skill is required oh subject knowledge is required knowledge is required creativity is required okay oh someone says characters are required yeah okay if i wrote a book this guy is going to be a character okay this guy is like I mean, a cool guy. Whatever doesn't matter. So, character, creativity, and stuff, right? So, we need all of these. I see a lot of people. Proper narration, setting, pencil, information, idea. Do you think you can write a book by just knowing A, B, C, D, the alphabet? No. The world of computer science is like that. A lot of people tell you learn a computer language. Have you heard of this? Yeah. and i think some people here have been mentioning about doing coding and stuff coding is like learning a language like learning abc of the language does that make you better thinkers no you need an idea of your own right you need to have a logical mindset and for that very reason math is very important today whatever you talk about be it netflix how many of you here watch netflix or amazon or 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 the prime video or stuff right you do right so or youtube for that matter once you watch a youtube video it tells you what video to watch next right it tells you you might like this hello hi look at this you might like this video a lot yeah how does it do it it's because it knows 
that you and understands you and learns from you mathematically okay in math with math they'll understand you so it data you use your data and create mathematical algorithms so to love mathematics you need to know its applications and explore its true way and i believe that speed math whatever you've seen right speed math and speed th thinking is the best way to start loving mathematics a few people here might have heard of kumon you might have does anyone here go to kumon anyone aha uh -huh. kumon and the back is are again speed solving yeah because i told you right it's a method that, that you learn and 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 for that matter it's a trick you learn but tricks cannot really help you become better thinkers and the successes of tomorrow and do you think with the brain i have developed for myself in calculations do you think it is restricted to only maths or do you think i can do things quicker otherwise also how many of you think that this is helpful for me across instance what i'm going to do guys is to show you that i'm going to open this screen i'm going to reduce the time and i'm going to put 10 numbers here and i'm going to put this to be 500 seconds and i am going to talk to you while i do this addition in my mind i am talking to you while i do this addition in my mind do you think it is only about math not at all because the answer is 641 i am doing calculations as i speak to you this is a true celebration of understanding and being able to do brain tasks much better than ever 539 that is the answer now do you think having a brain like this would be really helpful in anything you do so that's what i stand for the first thing which i have told you today in the orientation is about how we hold our bats in a reverse fashion something is the first step which we change but uh, a little more is that exploring infinities and i do classes and uh, what do we say courses for kids of your age and to do calculations all the way to this big like just imagine i'm going to put a perspective to this if you learn speed math you will be able to do 754 multiplied by 872 in 1 second you will be able to do this in 1 second this is for the kids of the age 6 to 10 years you will be able to do this as quickly how many of you would want to do this yeah or or for that matter you could be doing things like 75 square multiplied by 87 cube divided by 74 what is this or you could even be what is x square minus 144 or let's say let's let's just say 14x plus 49 what is the solution this is for the kids of 10 and above you can directly say the answer is 7 just by looking at it it's not a trick you just understand math better than a lot of people out there so this is what i mean when i say speed calculation speed calculation what it is and what it isn't i've talked to you speed calculation is not only about doing speed calculations it's about learning math the right way and having fun with it so how many of you here right now would say that math can really 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 be interesting yeah do you want to learn math and its applications in the world around you and train your brain will you want to do that just like how you stretch just like how you go for your football just like how you do badminton or play basketball if you want to do this then exploring infinities has a program for you guys to join in where you can try you can scout and stuff but krishna i leave it on to you before i go for questions because krishna will run you through a quick um understanding of what um exploring infinities does so that for the kids who are interested they can do that but after that we'll go into a quick question answer session where we'll talk about a lot of things which i think will be fun for you and if your parents are around do call them in so that you understand what this is and if not you can always follow me on my instagram and facebook where i'll be posting a lot of stuff about this my instagram id is @fastesthumancalculator 
So Krishna, I am handing it on to you for the next five minutes before I continue. Thank you so much, Baru, and I hope every one of you, each and every one of you here, has enjoyed the session as much as I did. Um, so, as Baru rightly said, go follow him. If you're on Instagram or on Facebook, go follow him at at the Faster Human Calculator. And if you're on Facebook, it's uh, Baru Pickers. But also, don't forget to follow Exploring Infinities on Facebook and Instagram. So, um, yeah, this. Um, yeah, let me share my screen and tell you about the courses uh, which we have at Exploring Infinities. Uh, if your parents are around, do call them in because they'll also be quite interested in the courses which we have. Um, uh, host, can you please enable me to share my screen? Sure. You can go on in three, two, one, one. Yes, so guys, we have two uh, kinds of courses, which is, uh, one second. just give me a moment here, guys, yeah. And for everyone, before we, let's say, uh, go, I think it's 10 more minutes, guys, for the people who are saying how long, but um, for all of you, I think, every one of you has established that you want to be quicker and better at math, because after you saw what you saw. But what I'm telling you is for the kids who are here, it's not a lot of effort, right? I mean, it, it might look like, okay, just before that, Krishna, I'll probably share my screen for quicker. How long? How long do you think it will take to be three times quicker at calculations. How long do you think? Every one of you, can you answer? Uh-huh, I see a few people saying it. Hmm? Okay. I see people saying a lot of things. A lot of people, ah, ha, 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 ha. let's see, let's let the answers coming in. Depends on the person, that's again, sure. I'm gonna tell you that it takes exactly three to four months. And when I say three to four months, I'm talking about two hours a week. Do you think we have two hours per week? Because we do, right? I mean, how many of you hit a goal the first time you kicked a football? You didn't, right? You can't hit a goal the first time you hit, hit a kick a football. So it takes just two hours per week for three months to be way quicker than what you are. In fact, we've had students from New Jersey and Texas where we've had kids who became three times quicker in a matter of a month, month and a half. So Krishna, I think that program is what he's going to talk about. Math wizard for six to 10 year olds and turn on the computer in you for 11 to 16 year old kids. Let's go on. Yeah. Yep. That is correct. So we have two programs. One is called the math wizard and this is for six to 10 year olds. And this is what we will be covering uh, in this course. The other is turn on the computer and use it for 11 to 17 year olds. And this, uh, uh, the course is slightly complicated. Um, and I'll run you, uh, run you guys through each uh, one of these. So, in the math wizard, we'll be looking at speed math because, of course, speed math. And then we'll be moving to the fundamentals of math. We'll learn real mathematics and not just the tricks which we just saw, which we just saw in today's session. Also, there's a lot of Cognitive ability development and brain training. So we will over the course of four months, we will be having thirty live sessions, thirty sessions, and um, every you will be having two sessions a week. Each session is about an hour long, so you will be having two hours per week, as Anu rightly pointed out. And this is what is going to be covered. That looks like a lot of things, but imagine just being able to do fractions, decimals, calculations, arithmetic, science, technology, and even like if you see the last one, measurement, math, and art, and music. Stuff like this, which is very interesting, which we don't really talk about. This is something which we personally believe um, can change the way you look at math. And Krishna, yeah, you can continue. Yes, and this is not the end, guys. This is not the end. After this, we have uh, uh, the add-on courses, which is the advanced 
experiential math learning and math application specializations where we talk about the real math that goes behind coding behind ml behind uh, everything you look at the world like how are we how are you able to see me through a computer don't you think some math is involved in that or there is and we'll be looking at that after this four month session and mind you guys all of this courseware is something which i personally created from my journey in becoming the fastest human calculator in the world who can talk to you and say i'm going to say the table of 87 174 261 348 435 522 it's not man and i can keep talking to you and say 9571044113112181305 1218105 if you want to do something like this then all you have to do is join and experience these uh, courses like never before and um, you will have i think a new journey a new perspective towards math and for the parents here will probably be opening a few questions but before that krishna if you can tell the more more details about this then i think we can open the questions in the next two minutes of course and don't worry about this after the live session we will be emailing each other to one of you about uh, complete details of what we have uh, about math overload and turn on the computer and do as well uh, let me see you'll be getting an email you'll be getting an email which talks about all of this and how you can join it which talks about education applications experiential math learning math as a sport fun with math and speed math development yeah uh and uh, uh in the course turn on the computer in you which is for slightly higher grade students we will be covering uh, the same topics and more topics which will include if you see like there you is know, introduction to algebra there for the people who are scared of variables x y why are these coming into math what is happening to me and when you wonder i think this is where we actually have a lot of fun introduce you to fun ways to learning uh, algebra and equations and coordinate axes and, and really 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 fun stuff so that you can ace the sats you can ace every exam but also have fun at the end of the day just imagine it's like a sport but you can also get marks in admissions just imagine yeah exactly exactly it's and 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 i think a good thing would be krishna uh, would be about let's say speaking about this for a minute more and then we can hear from the parents on what they think of the session exactly and actually i am almost done here now so we have this here and turn on the computer in uh then don't worry you can you need not take screenshots of this here uh we will be emailing you with all the details complete details of all the courses and also if you want if you have any other queries of course we'll be opening up for questions uh in just about a minute you can email us at info@expinfi.com um or you can give a call on this number it's an indian number also um, i think exploring infinity is put together an offer for students who want to try this out for a month for eight sessions i think krishna can you elaborate on that before we open it up this is a four month session but uh, if you want to try it out for a month and see if it is really the right thing for you then you can also uh, sign up for a month and then from there like the session you can go on but we have a huge uh, like a lot of people who have come for this one month course and have taken the full course that's that's usually how it goes uh, but there is this option also where you can uh, try out the session for a month and then go on to the full course which is pretty good deal as say which is starting in pretty fast so uh anyway uh, that is what i have to say this is math wizard and this is time on the computer and you these are the courses which we have at exploring infinity and now i'm going to stop sharing my screen and we are open for questions so yes. and can 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 people try to multitask after taking a course like this absolutely yes and um um for for kids who are saying that there might be a little i mean parents were sharing that these are lost lot of topics just think of it this way we have done this um what do we say for over 10000 kids as of now and we have seen that every one increases their speed in 3 to 4 times by the end of the entire program and more importantly the class sizes will be not more than 20 people 15 to 20 people in every class and uh, the class i think the rate per class is um 15 dollar if you for subscribe for the entire thing and it's um slightly less uh, more if you take the first one month but i think we'll open it up for the parents here
Um, any questions from any parents who want to talk or ask or tell you how you felt uh, or what do you think about the session, what you take back and stuff? That'll be good. Anyone? Any of the parents who would probably want to say, um, yeah, Krishna, can you put, there are a few people who are raising their hands. All uh, right. Yeah, I think Hari is raising her hand. Oh, if you have any questions, just drop them in this chat box. Guys. If you have any questions, just drop them in the chat box. Um, uh, I have a question. Sure. Um, I didn't understand the message how to do 25 times 25. I know the answer is 625. That's just so, a trick, right? I mean, at the end of the day, even if you know it or not, it's fine. But the general trick is that you multiply two with the next number, which is six, two into three, and then you put the 25 next to it. That's it. So it's just uh, a trick. It's something which is not really useful to say. Yeah, not really useful. Not really useful. A lot of people think that it is useful, and that's really what I was mentioning on how it is not really useful. And um, a lot of people have asked, been asking me, how do you divide the class as per age? It's done based on what they have to learn, the aspirations and the goals. And uh, all the tracking of what these kids will be doing will be done through games and a portal through which these, uh, the kids will be playing games. There'll be a set of games which you will be given every week to pay to play and um, and stuff like that. And a lot of people here are also saying, how do you track their progress? It's done through the games which there are. And yeah, um, and I would say that this is one of a very good way, which I personally think can change the way you look at the world. In fact, we have a couple of kids here who have had a really good experience. And um, let me just share it. Hi, this is Lee too. I live in Georgia, US, and I am seven years old, and I am about to be in second grade in Mashburn Elementary School. I, I joined the Math Wizard Level 1. I started learning from the basics, like tally marks, addition, and subtraction, with visualization method, left to right, and multiplication. First, I felt tense about math, but now it is easy for me just because of Bono, sir. I like the way that he's teaching without any pressure. I always wait for my assignments from Bono, sir. I want to be thankful for, for Bono, sir, for making an easy path for kids like me. I hope you all understood. Thank you. Bye. And this is from one of our other students who was uh, from the Turn On The Computer in India. Hi guys, I'm Sarko Tamandru. I'm 10 years old. I live in USA, Florida. I study at Goldsboro Magnet School Elementary. Met Mr. Bond, the world's fastest human calculator. As you can see, I am really crazy about math. Left to right methods have been really helping my brain solve multiplications and additions to subtractions faster. Um, I'm, I'm waiting for the track and birds but it's track and bird methods. It is really exciting. I've heard about it everywhere. Um, and it, I want to give a special thanks to Mr. Banu and Mr. Uday for organizing these sessions. I joined Turn On The Computer and it is really fascinating. It helped me a lot. I can't wait to the next levels. And thank you. I'm sorry. Cool. That's uh, pretty much on what we are. The, the days and the timings of every class is the weekend. And it usually is um, in the mornings of the weekend. And uh, I think last but not the least, um, I think Krishna, if you can run them through um, talking to them about the classes and uh, and let's say, how do they register for it? That'll be great. Just tell them what it is so that we can uh, sort of, uh, because a lot of parents are actually asking me here right now. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, uh, guys, this is what you do. Uh, there is a link here uh, to the chat box. It says exp3.com um, international. There's a link in the chat box. If you click it, it will redirect you to the um, courses page which you have. Uh, and also, right after this uh, session, right after this session, you'll be receiving an email. 
uh, with what you see here in the link and as well as the one month duration uh, of, of the same course, which is uh, divided on a monthly basis. So for the first month of uh, the payment uh, links, you, you'll just receive them right after this session. Um, if you have any questions, you can... Um, uh, yeah. yeah, and I think there's another poll which I think Krishna will put forth just so that you know the prices and um, just so that we can contact you accordingly, which is, yeah, and after that, I think after the poll, you are good to go. I think if you want to join or uh, if you don't know or if you want to go through it, you can sort of look into what things are so that we can contact you accordingly. So that uh, that can that can sort of be there. So for the people who sort of want to be reached out, click on don't know because then I think one of our people will give you an email and you, you can go through it accordingly and then see what it is. Yeah. Yeah, and if you have any further questions, please uh, email us at info at the rate ESPINFA.com. Um, can, Barak, can you just put it in the um, chat box so that yeah. everyone... Uh, this is... Info at expinfi.com. The number of classes per week are two. Here it is expinfi.com. Yeah, so irrespective of which course you go for, uh, either it's four months or one month, the classes are always on weekends, Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, we'll let you know about the timings. It's Most importantly, guys, I mean, rest uh, putting this aside, I would say that math is fun, math is interesting. and. To understand it and to know it very well is a privilege which I had as I was a kid because I understood math in a very well good way and for the people who want to leave you can um, is for me today it's about giving that experience to everyone and make everyone understand and play maths right you can and for the people who are asking me what will you happen if you miss a class you will get the recording of such classes you will be given an aid all of this the methods and the procedures are there all you can do is just go through the portal, which is HTTPS, uh, exploring infinity, zxpinfi.com slash international. You can go through that and uh, you'll also get an email. So keep a check on your email, right? You'll get an email on how do you join or if you want to schedule a call with one of the team members, you can do that so that you can understand math better. Is there any other query which you guys would want to ask other than let's say only this, but also in general? A lot of people are raising their hands. Can you can you unmute them? Uh, let me take let me take uh, Chitirala Aditya, Dhruv, and Jaydeep one after the other. Aditya, on to you. And and for that you can leave, guys. Okay. No worries. I mean, this is the end of the entire thing. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. I'm Arish's dad. I would like to know whether you have any one-on-one -on -one classes, uh, uh, if, if need be. And one more question is, uh, how much uh, of uh, the guest speaker going to be involved in these programs? I've seen programs where, I mean, I like the discussion today. to know.